show where we discuss. What's up? I'm your host, Silicon. <laughs> no, I'm your host, Boron. Um, excuse me, Boron. You may recall we have a new contract, and you're my sidekick now. Wait a minute, I. Our guest today is Professor Xenon. Famous for, um, what are you famous for again? It depends which of my PhDs, theories, or books you'd like to discuss. I'm her agent. We booked her today to talk about her latest book, It's a Gas. You two look familiar. Weren't you contestants on a game show we sometimes host? And yes, let me emphasize, my contract for that show clearly lists me as host. Yeah, whatever, Boron. You're my sidekick on this one. Now go get me some water. Didn't corporate tell you? Plumbing is down in the building. You are kidding me. Oh, no worries. Let's make some water. Ooh. Wow. That's delicious water. What kind of sorcery is that? Oh, heavens. No sorcery. We non-plants think of air as being merely oxygen, but in reality it's a mixture of gases, including water vapor. This atmospheric water generator encourages invisible water vapor to cool and condense into pure water ready to drink. Or... Take a bath in. How did you manage? Boron, it's suddenly hot in here. Can you be a good sidekick and turn down the heat? Say, Silicon, I'm curious. Why does your atomic symbol say S? On the periodic table, S stands for sulfur and SI stands for... Silicon? Yeah. I used to be sulfur before liposuction pulled out a couple of my protons. But we're not here to talk about me. Or how much money her plastic surgeon has made. Sidekicks should be seen and not heard. What just happened? That appears to be the balloon I filled with helium and let fly as we came on air. You didn't tie its little belly button tightly enough. Boron. I know how to tie a balloon, your majesty. It's c cold in here. Gases condense when it's cold and their movement slows, thereby decreasing pressure on the balloon. Yeah, ice is f f forming in my t t tub. You know what to do, sidekick. Boron, that might be a little much. You'd better get permission from her majesty before you... You do? All he did was turn the thermostat up too high. This caused the helium gas atoms to speed up, increase pressure on the walls of the balloon, thereby expanding the volume until the balloon could no longer take the pressure. And kablam! Like you two's relationship. Oh no! We get along just fine. Because our contract says we have to. Xenon, let's talk about your book some more. Uh, what's the title again? It's a gas, Ms. Memory. Yes, my book explains all about the relationship between pressure, volume, temperature, and the behavior of gases. Netflicker is producing a documentary about it. I believe we have a clip. Boron, could you roll it for us? You mean push play? Yes, your highness. Come along now, little gas atoms. Let's settle in. Are we cozy, little fellas? We're good. Let's warm you up a bit. Ouch! 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 <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let's cool you down. How's the ice bath? Too cold, Xenon. We're gonna liquefy. Oops. We don't need a face change. How's that? <sighs> That's just right. How about if I lower the rubber stopper? 
Our jar has a volume of 50 milliliters, and with 25 atoms inside, we have one atom per two milliliters. But as I lower my stopper, I lower the volume to about 30 milliliters. Now we have roughly one atom per milliliter. This gives them less space to move, results in more atoms bumping into each other, and increases gas pressure in the jar. It's getting crowded here and hot! Ouch! Let's increase the volume and release the pressure. You sure know how to torture those little guys, Xenon! As her agent, I must point out that no atoms were harmed in the making of that documentary. That's a relief! Xenon, can you summarize your book for us? Certainly. At a comfortable temperature and with ample room, gases typically float with plenty of space between atomic particles. The behavior of gases is influenced by pressure, volume, and the number of gas particles placed into a container. Decreasing volume of the container increases its pressure, gas movement, and temperature. Increasing volume decreases pressure, lowers gas movement, and lowers temperature. Adding heat to gases increases their movement and pressure. Cooling, likewise, lowers gas movement, pressure, and temperature. If you lower gas movement too much, the gases will condense, pull together, and liquefy. Like they did in your sorcery contraption. Um... Atmospheric water generator. It condenses water molecules from the air. Yes, Xenon, magic. Don't forget to subscribe, like, ring the bell.